hello 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 um before i go into this video this content um if you're watching this on youtube please 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 hit like subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't um so that you don't miss any um other videos that i share and if you are um, listening on podcast soundcloud or watching on vimeo you can you can also follow me on youtube um my name is Shola Shadi Izeokoli, and you can just hop over there and again, like, um, click the bell icon, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any more of my amazing content. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about roles and the roles that they play, the roles that people play in our lives and the roles that we play in people's lives. Now, I've come to realize that sometimes People don't support our next level because the role we used to play in their lives um, suddenly changed without warning. So one minute we were one thing and the next minute we were another. Let me give you an example. Do you remember how you felt when you found out that your parents have sex? Ugh, ew, right? <laughs> Exactly. And that's reason not because, I mean, it's not because your parents having sex is a bad thing, because after all, that's how you got here. But it's because all of a sudden, in one fell swoop, you saw these people as your parents. And now all of a sudden, you saw them as just two human beings, um, lovers even, and your mind couldn't handle it. And you resorted to temporary uh, shock, disgust, and maybe even some anger. So, this happens not only in that respect, but it actually happens in other areas of our lives. For example, let's say once upon a time, your role was in pe somebody's life or people's lives were uh, the party girl. And all of a sudden you became the serious bookish professor. Believe me, they will have a hard time with that. If uh, at one point your role in someone's life was Mr. Victim. And now all of a sudden you've become the winner or the authority or the thought leader. Oh my goodness, they may have a hard time. And now when people, when this happens, people come across as haters, critics, or naysayers. And in fact, they can even become those things because even they don't realize what's going on, that it's not that there's anything wrong with you or them per se, but the fact is that you switch roles on them and they don't know how to handle it. In the same way, sometimes um, you find two friends, they're, they're close, all of a sudden one gets a boyfriend and then boom, the friendship uh, is no more, not because the other person is jealous of the boyfriend or wants the boyfriend, but all of a sudden now, you you know, we're, we were two single girls hanging out together and everything. Now you've gone from single girl to somebody with a boyfriend and that's a role that I wasn't quite prepared for and I'm not sure what to do in this instance. Again, a lot of these things are subconscious. It's not as though people are sitting there thinking, hmm, this person went from a victim to a winner. I'm going to not like them anymore or I don't feel comfortable with this. Actually, it would actually be good if people were that self-aware. Unfortunately, they aren't. <laughs> so um, a bit of a story from my life. A few years ago, I would have... Um, with certain people, not everyone, I would keep quiet just to keep the peace. But I started realizing that I was developing inner resentment to some of the things they were doing and some of the requests that they had. So what happened was that I started to step up to put my own needs in, in place and started to take my own dream seriously. And that um, meant I would have to say, I, I started to say no to a lot of their requests. And what happened there? Conflict because now I was no longer just keeping quiet and going on to get along. I was actually stepping up to say, you know what? I don't think I want to do that. This is not in alignment. I don't have um, time for this. I really don't have the bandwidth, etc." And I went from, I would say a yes man to a, just a regular person who could tell them yes or no. And what happened there? Conflict. So I'm very aware of the, um, how these things can happen. So I'd gone from being somebody who wanted their approval to somebody who didn't really care, like, well, you approve or not, I'm, I'm, I really need to do what I need to do. So I no longer fit that role that I was in from the beginning of the relationship. And unfortunately, um, I'm no longer in relationship with these people because um, at that time, you know, neither of us, could, I, I'm going to say 
I'm going to give grace and say neither of us could handle the pressure and um, the relationships are no more. So it's okay not to remain in, in the same role in somebody's life forever. And in fact, you cannot be the same forever. I, I, who was it that said, I believe it was Muhammad Ali, who said that if you think the same way at 40, that you thought that when you were 20, then that means you just wasted 20 years of your life. I'd say to the people around me, I said, look, I am a new person. That if, I wait, if I go to bed tonight and wake up, I could wake up a new person. If I go out and come back, I will be a new person because I've had the opportunity to grow. I've had the opportunity to learn new things. I've had the opportunity to incorporate new perspectives. And, you know, I may not be the same person that I was how many of a years ago. That's where you hear people say things like, ugh, you've changed, as if that's a bad thing. It's not a, changing is not a bad thing. Right. So next time somebody says to you, you've changed, you should say to them, what do you expect? Of course, I'm going to change and you should, too, because guess what? Change is growth and growth is change. A seed doesn't remain a seed forever. Eventually it grows into a tree. Imagine if we all got mad because we, when we put a seed of corn in the ground, it grew up into a plant. And we're like, why is it a plant? It should be a seed. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So um, another thing to remember is that people don't have to be in your life forever. Sometimes if people can't handle your the so-called new you or you're stepping up to do different things and your, um, no, your role has changed and they can't handle it, they don't have to be in your life forever. So I'm going to share real quick six points to ponder with, with regards to this topic of roles and change. Now, instead of trying to fit into someone else's framework, just keep the peace and you can keep your relationship with them, right? It's better to just be your authentic self and let, let the chips fall where they may. Now, maybe, for example, let's say you were the party girl and now you're the serious bookish professor and they see you and you want to be in relationship with them. Um, you know, you may not necessarily allude to your studying, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it, now, there's no sort of prescription to say, oh, how you can remain in relationship with someone who no longer see, who no longer sees you in a certain role. But, you know, with finesse on both on this on the part of both parties, you can remain in relationship. But by and large, it's never good to give up your authentic self in order to remain in relationship with people. So if you went from party girl to being the serious bookish professor, you know, you don't have to be a party girl to accommodate people who saw you as a party girl. Just be your serious bookish professor self and keep life moving on. Number two, if you need to make changes necessary for your growth, by all means do it, okay? It can be argued that anyone that doesn't want you to grow uh, should probably be in the periphery of your life and not at the center, okay? Someone who does not want you to, to um, develop, to improve yourself, to, to go into any kind of self-improvement, maybe that person shouldn't be front and center in your life. You can move them to the periphery. Number three, and this is very important, don't remain angry when people's attitudes towards you change. I see this a lot when someone who's, they've been seen as the victim for so long and um, all of a sudden they step up, they get their act together and they, you know, step out there, they're bold, they're confident. And all of a sudden people are like, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> And there can be a bit of resentment, like, oh, don't you want me to grow? Don't you want me to change? Don't you want think me to be better? But here's the thing. Don't remain angry when people's attitudes change. You cannot um, force someone to accept a better version of you. Because sometimes, too, especially if we were in a victim role before, so people who want to keep us in that victim role, when we get step into the victor role, um, they don't like it. <laughs> you know, because they prefer it when we're down and out so they can have somebody to rescue and so recognize that so instead of being angry just redirect your energy and your emotions to the new crop of supporters that will inevitably come your way you always re remember this you always have more supporters than you have detractors 
Number four, never ever over explain yourself. Well, you know, I decided I, I, I don't want to do this party lifestyle anymore. I want to go back to school and I want to become a whatever you want, whatever it is you want to become. Maybe you were a party girl and now you become all serious and academic and people can't stand it. And you find yourself trying to explain, well, the reason why I'm doing this is this, 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 that. If you have to over explain yourself to people, then they are not your people. Remember the saying, those who mind don't matter. And those who matter don't mind. Number five, make your growth a priority, no matter what. So when you make your growth a priority, people's attitudes about what you're doing or not doing is going to mean less and less to you because you're prioritizing your growth, not their opinion or their acceptance or their criticism. Prioritize your growth. Your growth is important. Growth in every area. It could be spiritual growth, right? It could be that certain maybe once upon a time you weren't spiritual and now now you've you've become spiritual maybe you started going to church i reading your bible started meditating and now it's like what's wrong with that that person it's your spiritual growth focus on it or maybe you started reading before you would never read a single personal development book now you're reading personal development books self-help and you're learning things and you're incorporating those into your life your mental uh growth it could be physical. Maybe before you, you weren't taking care of your health and now you're eating vegetables all day long, right? So your growth is a priority. So please prioritize eating your vegetables over people who don't want you to eat your vegetables. Or maybe before you were, you know, maybe you, you were um, a, a sort of default parent where you're parenting, you were not really serious about your parenting. You had kids, but, and now you're taking it really seriously. You, you're reading all these books. You're becoming a better parent. And some people are like, what's wrong with that one? Does she think she's better than us? Prioritize your growth over what other people think about your growth. Okay. So, um... What else? What else? Last but not the least, don't condescend. Okay. Just accept the fact that some people will be okay with the new you and some people won't. So there's no need for you to condescend to them. For example, let's say you guys were all, um, sort of, uh, not, you guys were never used to read books and you were all together and all of that. And now you start reading books. Don't condescend to the people you, you know, you were there before. If they're, you know, they say something in Nigeria, when you wake up is your morning. So don't condescend to the people that were, that either were in your old roles with you or see you in your old role. Don't condescend to them. Just let them be. Accept that, you know, some people will be okay with it. Some people won't. So remember this, um, when it comes to roles, our roles change and it's okay. Prioritize your growth, your development, so that you can continue to be a better person every 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 day and i will see you talk to you next time have a wonderful day please share subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can know whenever we send out any new videos